multiple instances of existing DFS assemblies can be combined into a single file. These can be multiples of the same file or a mixture of different files. This video is going to walk you through the process of how to do this. I already have an existing DFS file open. You don't have to have the file open in order to create a multiple fixture document, but I just wanted to show you what our starting point is. This is already programmed that I can run a quick 3D simulation and you can see that we have toolpath and two different setups. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my task pane and machine apart and I'll select a template. Okay, it's going to open and appear to be any ordinary DFS assembly, but you'll notice that the programming is all still there. And if I go to the feature manager, you can see that this is called a component, not necessarily the part, and you don't see all of the features, only the setups. So what I want to do now is create multiple instances of this file. There's a variety of ways to do this, but I'm going to go to the assembly and create a linear component pattern. Just to make it clear, I'll go to the components to pattern and select the caliper. That way when I go to start creating my multiples, you'll be able to see a preview. My first direction will be across this edge, and that direction looks good. It's pointing to the right. And I'll set a distance and a number of instances. And you can see the preview right there. So that looks perfect. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see my components are added to the feature manager. You'll also notice that I have both setups enabled in each component. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this case, so I'll just turn off setup 2 in each of those instances. Okay, now I'll add a second component. Again, it can be an entirely different part, but I'm going to bring in more calipers so that I can create setup 2. I'll go to insert component, and you can see the caliper right there. And if I take my cursor out into space, you see the preview. And I'll place it out there like so. It doesn't really matter where it is. And I'll kind of move it into position sort of roughly. Don't be concerned that your features seem to be left behind. That's just a, a preview. And when you rebuild, everything will snap back into place. So I want to create setup two. I'll kind of turn this part over like so. Just get it in a general orientation. But you want to make sure you pay close attention to the setups. And you want to make sure that your setups are all aligned so that your X's and Y's point the same direction. Okay, now that's fairly close to the way I want it. And now I'll go ahead and made it into place. So I'll control select these top faces and give them a coincident mate. Likewise with the side faces. And for the front and back faces, respectively, I'll give them a distance mate. We'll call this four inches. Like so. And I'll accept those mates and let everything rebuild. And now you can see my extra component in the assembly. Again, it has both setups turned on, so whichever setup is not really relevant you can turn off. And now I only have set up two. I can also pattern this component, but to save myself some trouble, I'll go back to my feature manager and edit this pattern and just add this component to it. Okay, so now you can see how to build these multiple fixture documents. I need to go back, turn off the relevant setups, I can run a simulation and get my NC code. 